Hello. English to me is an amazing language to write in. To write in the historical versions, to, to use archaic words from English, whether you're using something Georgian, Elizabethan, Victorian. It, it's, it's just such an enormous language and, and the depth and breadth of it is, is, it's often just a source of great fun for me to, to look for new words and to find new things that rhyme and to use things from different centuries, but that they, 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 they link together, they stand together. And it's, it's just a beautiful thing. So when we, we look at things, and this is not to, to denigrate anyone who, who uses Twitter, I don't understand how someone can limit themselves to 140 characters. 140 syllables I get, that's a sonnet. But 140 characters and then to, to, to abbreviate everything and to, to, to purposefully shrink your vocabulary I can't imagine that. <laughs> I, and if you watched any of my other videos, you know I never shut up. So, yeah, you can understand why I don't imagine that. And I do have various dialects of English that I understand very well. I understand Elizabethan. I understand Georgian. I understand Victorian. And I, I know things that are missing from English. Where we have the, the single word love, the Greeks had agape, philios, storge, uh, eros, you have, we have you, Y-O-U. Uh, the French have tu, vous. You have the, there are things where we could have a little more richness in the language, but you can always find a way to work around that. You know, there's, you, you, can, you can hyphenate, you can do this, you can do that. The rules in English are so enormous that you can't help but breaking them. And part of the fun is breaking them on purpose and making that make sense, more so than the rule. So it's, it's a wonderful language to write in. <clears throat> uh, if you've watched me in my other videos, you can often see, when you look at my, my glasses, you see as I, as I talk that there's a reflection. Uh, I'm looking and I'm reading off of, the, off, of, off of my computer screen. I'm reading the poem. That way I, I don't have to commit every single poem to memory, although some of them I do have committed to memory. Uh, this is something I'm going to recite for you now. I'm, I'm going to recite it as a poem. I'm going to recite something for you in Old English, in Anglo-Saxon. And you'll notice as I move my head, there is no reflection. This I have committed to memory. Um, if you're a religious person, if you're formerly a religious person, you've probably heard the, the Lord's Prayer, or what we Catholics refer to as the Our Father. I'm going to recite that for you now in Old English. This is what it would have sounded like a thousand years ago, and I'm going to and I'm going to recite it as a poem. So, this is what a thousand years ago, if your ancestors lived in England or if they were Angles or Saxons, uh, this is what they would have called the Fediarure. Fediarure, si te erton hefnum, ti bikumi sinariche ki orte tin wila an erton swa swan hefnum, orne yagman lichen leo sulius today. And forgive us here, Iltas, so as well we forgive your meal tendum. And a hila to us on cost nunge. A hilusus of ophile. Sotliche. Thank you. That's all.